I'm uh, Ryan Wolfenden, uh, Managing Director at Leader Fox Estate Agents. Um, I set up the business now probably about three and a half, four years ago. Um, last year we rebranded to Leader Fox Estate Agents when my new business partner uh, came aboard, Katie Fox. Um, yeah, and following that then we opened this office here in Wallace Down as well. Unfortunately, I was a failed footballer, so after quite a hard transition from working in an office at uh, Liverpool Victoria, um, I had a bit of an epiphany of I just cannot do this when I'm 40 years old with a headset uh, on um, cold calling people. So um, I've always been interested in property, love like brand designs, Phil Spencer, location, location, and I just thought this is something that I could see myself doing for the rest of my life. Um, never really had an aspiration to have my own business doing it. Um, that changed and developed as I, as I did it more, but yeah, I, I just thought an estate agency is a, a great career. There's a lot of highs and lows with estate agency. Um, you can be 90% of the way there on a, on a deal, um, but then everything comes crashing down at the last minute and it's kind of all outside of your control. You're relying on a lot of other people and you are just a sort of middleman. Um, so that can be quite tough. Uh, but conversely then, when everything does come together, it's a real high and a sort of relation of helping someone through what is a potentially really difficult time in their lives or stressful time in their lives and being there to help them, that's a really great thing that we do. We have all different people uh, come to us from all different walks of life, uh, sometimes really stressful, they've lost a relative or a close family member uh, or they're getting divorced. Uh, or, or they're getting married and they're wanting a new family home uh, or, they, or, some, or they just had a child and looking for another three bedroom house, those types of things. Uh, building the relationships I think is the, the key thing that I really like about the job. And then seeing them come back two or three years later and helping them move again. I think that's the, the repeat business of it, that's what I really like. So my worst experience was probably something that happened quite recently. Um, I uh, did a joint venture with someone uh, and it didn't work out and this was a person that I'd known for about five years, someone that I trusted uh, and they owed me about £10,000. Um, it's still going through a process now so that's probably the toughest thing I've ever experienced but over my whole career to have one thing that's only gone that bad I think that's still pretty good. I think the best thing has been the evolution of the business, um, going from me and one of the member of staff, Carmen, who's still with us today, uh, to now employing I think 10 or 11 people, having two offices and still on an upward trajectory. I, I still I feel like I find it really exciting and, and seeing how we've, we've sort of grown over the last sort of three or four years, that for me has been really, uh, made, makes me more proud. Yeah. I think it's a great career. I think that to do something that is every day is different, um, you potentially earn a lot of money, um, and it's not, it's hard work in terms of managing people's expectations and stress, but not hard like being down the mine or you know working on a building site for eight hours a day just to get by. Um, so I think it offers you a lot of opportunities. You know, you see how many people make a lot of money in property uh, and you get to deal with a lot of nice people on a day-to-day -day basis. And as I said, you know, coming back to the, what I like about the job is when you help people through and they come back to you and help them again, it's a really satisfying job. Um, but one thing I will say is it's not a nine to five. So if you're the type of person that likes a nine to five, uh, state agency is definitely not, not for you. Thank you.